friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are tackling these bookshelves. Now this might be a controversial video because as much as people say like, oh, like lighten it up, freshen it up, people do not like when you paint wood. But I am here to tell you that we are doing something a little different. We're not gonna be painting all of it. These bookcases, while I like the wood, my kitchen is right there and my kitchen has cherry cabinets. My floors are yellow oak and this is something in between and they look warmer on here than they do in real life, but they're not. So in this one space, you can see four different colors of wood, which is really kind of annoying and kind of okay. And I don't know, it just seems like a lot. So I want to do something that I was very inspired by when we moved into this house, but I've just not had the time or the energy to actually tackle this project. So we are gonna do it this weekend. So I'm gonna insert a picture of my inspo right here. And for all of you guys to take a look at to see what we're gonna do. So it also has this really lovely wood paneling right back there. Oh, hello Delilah. Um, right back there. And it's not, it's not the nice paneling, it's like, cheapo, crummy, gross paneling. So we're gonna paint it and we're gonna paint it, you guessed it, white. <laughs> so it's gonna be the same color as our trim, which is okay. And you know, I am only gonna be doing, you know, from the desk area up. We're not gonna paint the cabinet doors or the workspace. I actually really like having that as solid wood. I think it's more durable than having it painted and flaking with a mouse and a keyboard and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna do that. And then we're also gonna be changing out the hardware. So let me show you what's on there now. So see this hardware? It's like old 1970s. I just wanna modernize it a bit. Um, so we're gonna be replacing that, which is such a simple hack. And then you can also see the wood paneling. So it is not cute. It's not the cute wood paneling, it's kind of the dated 70s but like not the nice 70s paneling so this is going to be a multi-step process and it's going to take me several days to do it i am going to enlist ian's help for portions of it and other parts we're going to be flying solo with it um but our steps are as follows first take all this stuff off right now i'm kind of using it as a workspace. Um, so I have my monitor and our router and that kind of stuff. So that's gotta get moved. And then we're gonna tape everything off, give a little sand, and then we're gonna prime it because like all the other paneling in this house, it's probably gonna take two coats of primer. And then we are going to paint it. So let's get started. let me show you so do you guys see here where there used to be some hinges and whatnot so I want to fill those in and then we've got to take out any of the shelves that can be removed which not all of these can like this one's these two are stationary but this guy and that guy can be taken out and we're gonna protect this work surface so that it stays intact typically tape but since I've already painted these walls twice before we moved in which I should tell you about the saga of our home renovation if I ever do a house tour which I think I'll do at some point but anyway it's not the point I digress I normally don't tape but because we are doing two-toned and only painting a portion of this it's imperative that we tape 
So I'm gonna start with this and then cover it with the plastic that has the tape edge with it as well, just so that I am not having to go back in and tape multiple times. So Ian and I are, are going to get to it. Wish us luck. that I showed you yesterday and letting those dry and then I'm also going to caulk some of the um, gaps that are in this square here. The rest of it's sealed really nicely and I don't think it needs to be sealed anymore or caulked anymore so I'm going to do that before I go on my run to get supplies that I would need. I just kind of took stock of what I have and I think I've got everything except for drop cloth so I'm gonna see how far I can get, and then with this, so that I can run to the store while this dries, trying to work smarter, not harder. So let's get to it. Man, guys, I think my wood putty is dried out, which is really unfortunate. I was hoping to get this part done before, I'm sorry if you can hear Delilah, to get this part done before I went to the store. Man. Yeah, this is not gonna work. Just make a mess. Let me get Delilah. She's barking like crazy. All right. I was able to get it to work. So I'm going to next step is to caulk um, around the edges. So got a partially used caulk tube here. Um, I've got my very messy caulk gun. So we are going to see if we can't, if, Make sure that this is good too. Um, if I can get it to work, guys, like struggling today. All right, let's do this. Okay, guys, I am out of caulk. My wood putty was dry, so I've got to go to the store earlier than I thought. I almost got done with it halfway, so I guess that's better than nothing, but still disappointing. So anyway, I'm gonna go do that and then we'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back. I got my second tube of caulk and let's finish this out, hopefully, so that it can dry, I can sand everything, and then we can get to painting. Hey guys, um, I have got it all caulked and um, now we are ready to sand everything. And you know, this is a really important step that a lot of people skip. And honestly, I was a big proponent of that, but with this, there are some areas that have like a really nice varnish and like the paint just will not stick to it. Like there's just no way. So it is important for it to look good to do this step. Even though it's everyone's least favorite, mine included, it's pretty much imperative. So 
I've got some 220 sandpaper that I'm gonna use, 220 grit sandpaper that I'm gonna use, and we're just gonna slightly sand all of the areas so that the kills can attach very nicely to it, and then that way the paint will also stick. So I actually picked this thing up a while ago. It's a little, it's from 3M. I don't know if y'all see that. Yeah, 3M, and it's great because it's like a sanding block, only it's reusable, so you can actually like get larger sheets that are more cost effective than little sanding blocks and reuse it and it keeps things out of landfill too. So this is 220 sandpaper, just enough to give it a little rough sand um, to make sure that the paint adheres. So I'm gonna do this really quickly. panel once it all dries and I have the five shelves I need to sand as well so I'm gonna do those off camera and we'll be back All right guys, I was able to paint a little bit yesterday and I still have to finish it off. So we're gonna put the coat of paint on that and then see how it goes. got all the bookcases completely painted so now it is time to put the shelves back in place so I'm actually gonna just put shelves in the middle section and on the right section I guess it's my right your left no it's left that way that the section right here don't know my left's from my rights this one needed one more coat and I want to let this side right here and I want to let it cure a little bit longer so they don't scratch it up um, but anyway, we're gonna start putting the shelves in. Painted. So now we're gonna let it dry. Ian's in my shot, but that's fine. <laughs> we did it guys, it's all painted. Look at it. Now it is just letting it dry and putting the new hardware on and then styling it. And we're gonna do a little Christmas styling and then we can call this big massive project done. Woohoo, I'm excited. Okay guys, we are to the point, the fun part which is decorating these beautiful shelves. So I already have my workstation set up. We're keeping this as it was prior, just because it worked for me and like this is a great space. So we are gonna start styling the rest of those shelves. Okay guys, look at all the stuff I have to decorate with. And I actually need to go get my um, plants too, so. We've got quite the smorgasbord. We've got some vintage books, some artwork, some pottery, more books, 
more pottery. We got some Christmas stuff there in that Target bin bag. Um, and then all of my work stuff. So we are going to get started styling these books with all of the stuff. So, as you can see, we've already decorated for Christmas, and I am going to sprinkle in just a little bit of Christmas stuff on the bookshelf as we're going, but we're going to style it with everyday, hey, stop, we're going to style it with everyday in mind and make sure that it is less, doesn't have to be redone constantly, so let's get to it. Hey, get out of my stuff, move it, go get in your spot. Go lay on your couch. You want me to fix your bangy? Here. Here. Come on. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to start with my larger items, such as my art pieces. Um, I think these are good to layer in the back of areas, so we're going to start with that. my channel but look at how cute that is it's just like some little dried florals wrapped with some embroidery threads and then framed in a shadow box so I've stacked some books here and I've got a brass orb that just helps to add some height and variance on this next shelf, I think what I'm going to do is do some, so I've got some books horizontal here, and I'm going to do some vertical here. But if you recall, these guys are from the 21 yard sale, and they're just beautiful books that have a lot of character to them. So I'm going to mix them up. Do those like that. I think I've got a few more. And then we're going to book in that. I don't actually have any bookends, so I'm going to use a couple pieces of pottery. So I've got brass here. Um, so you don't want brass on top of brass. I think it gets a little too like, oh, there it is. So we might use this guy. We might swap these two things around. I don't like that as much. So, keep this one here. And for now, we're gonna leave that there. I always encourage using baskets, if you can, for storage. These just help to conceal all of your extra stuff that you want and need, but may need to keep under wraps. Okay, so this is how this side's looking so far. I really like it. I've got to figure out the bottom shelf, but for now, I'm pretty good with it. I do use this shelf a lot for work stuff, so it's not the most aesthetically pleasing shelf um, because it is the most utilitarian shelf. So I'm gonna add that stuff back in just because I know I need it um, and go from there. We're gonna put our wicker basket in the middle this will help to anchor that basket up there and this one down here. And then I'll likely have a third one. Oops, you can't see me. I have a third one that'll likely go on the top shelf there. So I'm going to include some of my work notebooks. Let's turn our attention to this side. So We've got quite a bit of openness here. So let's start with this basket. So this one's a very special piece that I that my dad actually potted of my grandfather's face. So this one's very, very special, near and dear to me. I think we need to incorporate some 
layering on this shelf to give some depth. So I am actually going to play around with different pictures. This is one that I love of my dad and I. This is probably my favorite picture of my dad and I. It was up in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Um, which now that I'm looking at it, I think the gray is going to clash and it's gonna feel very rustic. So I might move this one to this side. But yeah, I think that looks pretty good, guys. I think, um, I think I'm gonna stop there. Sometimes less is more, you know? I think, at least I'm gonna sit on it and then we'll see. We'll see if there's anything else that I add to it. Okay, final touches. Um, I'm gonna change the hardware on these. As I showed you before, they're kinda 1970s rad, so. I actually got the same hardware that we use in our kitchen for in here since the space is kind of open. And I've lost my scissors and don't know where they went. Oh, here they are. Um, so I got these off of Amazon. We've had really good luck with them. They've held up well over the last year. They fit any size holes. Since we weren't doing anything with the bottom of these shelves, I didn't want to have to fill the holes and paint everything so we just got um we got hardware that would work so i will link this below and also in case you're wondering the color of all the trim in our house is called fresh popcorn by bear um don't recommend buying paint right now 60 dollars a gallon which had me on the floor like flabbergasted on sunday saturday whenever i went and got Got that. So anyway, we're gonna swap out these handles and then the project is done. And I'm so excited. This is the last major project we have in our house. And then, yeah, until we move or buy more things to do. I don't know, there's always things to do, am I right? So let's do this really quick. So it's just this really nice black bar. Um, and then you can actually adjust it. So it's got this channel here. So you don't really have to adjust where your nails are or screws are, you just adjust this to make sure that they're all level. So this is a really good one if you want to use the same holes and you don't wanna restain or anything, so. All right, so let's remove these bad man pajamas. Hopefully, this one's not gonna work, babe. It's too skinny. It's too skinny of a screwdriver. I swear I'd lose my rear end if it wasn't attached. Also, don't look at the chaos in my cabinets. All these are my junk cabinets. Like I put all my junk in there and hide it. So no judgment, right? This is a judgment free zone. At least that's what I'm telling myself while I'm showing the internet my deep dark cabinet secrets. Look at the difference in that, y'all. Vintage, modern. It's gonna be a major upgrade. Something as simple as changing out your hardware can make a world of difference. turned out now granted we had some obstacles I swear every time I have a video that I put out like every single time there is something that is unexpected that goes awry that we were not anticipating 
and you know what it still works out and that's really what it's about so anyway if you like today's video make sure to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and i am taking two weeks off for the holidays so we will be back in the new year with new videos for you guys i hope you all have a wonderful holiday season and i will see you next year bye